Hello everyone, this is Priyanka and today I am going to explain you a very MacLeod McCarthy experiment. This is the another experiment to prove DNA as a genetic material. So what they actually did is these investigators revisited Griffith experiment. And concluded that that transforming material was pure DNA pure DNA that transforming material was not protein and not RNA. The transforming material only is pure DNA. So what they did when these investigators extracted DNA from a virulent strain virulent strain is of 3s1 so when these investigators extracted DNA from the virulent strain they found this 3s1 this 3s strain is genetically transformed virulent with a virulent strain into virulent strain So, when these investigators extracted DNA from a virulent strain, they found that the genetically transformed a virulent strain into the virulent strain. How they did? They first took cell extract. Okay, they took cell extract and these investigators selectively destroy constituent to purify the extraction of a virulent strain they took cell extract and started selectively destroy constituent to get a purify extract of virulent pneumonococcus. For that, they used certain enzyme that could hydrolyze. use certain enzymes that could hydrolyze DNA, RNA and protein. So they started destroying one by one. First, they separated the S type they separated S type cell into various component such as
प्रोटीन पॉलीसेक्राइड लिपिड्स एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड न्यूक्लिक एसिड आई थिंक यू ऑल नो डीएनए एंड आर एन एज नॉन एज न्यूक्लिक एसिड देन फर्स्ट दे टुक ऑल दीज कंपोनेंट इन दैट पॉलीसेक्राइड प्रोटीन डीएनए एन आर एन ए ऑल वर प्रेजेंट एंड दे यूज प्रोटीएस दे यूज प्रोटीएस एंजाइम this protease enzyme hydrolyze this protein so remaining what they left dna and rna only the nucleic acid is remain when he used protease enzyme this protease enzyme hydrolyze this protein and we get only nucleic acid we get only nucleic acid from s type cell and this nucleic acid is a only able to make arch strain smooth okay then further what they did further they took cell extract again they took cell extract of s type cell and treated with rnas we'll say this uh, in this this is a cell extract and this is treated with rnas okay after this they transform to cell extract okay in this this is the cell extract and they transfer rna enzyme rna enzyme which degrade rna and then they pour into petri plate this is a petri plate what they get they saw three years colony developed they saw three years colonies are absorbed in this petri plate then again they took cell extract of s type and treated with dnas see again they took dnas enzyme
and they transferred to cell extract okay this is the cell extract and they transfer dna is enzyme also and then again they pour into petri plate they saw no colonies were absorbed so what they concluded that the dna was a genetic material in short i also tell, want to tell you first they took two rna to our cell okay no transformation occur okay then they took heat killed 3a strain plus 2r cell here transformation occur now from here these investigators started doing their experiment they took 2r cell plus 3s cell same this one heat kill 3s and 2r cell and cell extract in ka cell extract plus they treated cell extract with first with protease that time transformation takes place in second time they took again 2r cell plus 3s heat kill cell they took cell extract and then treat with rna is enzyme they found transformation also occur in this time also then at last they took 2r cell plus 3s cell cell extract this time they treat with dna is enzyme and they saw no transformation occur and they concluded that this dna this dna was a genetic material that transfer from one generation to another generation when he treated they treated with dna is means dna is degraded dna is hydrolyzed and no dna is present only the remaining constituent is present that time transformation does not takes place so they concluded dna was the genetic material thank you for watching my video